In today's video, I'll show you step-by-step -step guide on how to start using DxTrade with our 4 Traders Challenge account. Once you've finished our buying process, all you gotta do in the dashboard is click on Trading Setup. Here you have your so-called login credentials. After this, just open a new tab and search for DxTrade that fortraders.com. This is gonna be the domain that you will need in order to start trading with our platform. After this, you need to input two things, which is gonna be username and password. Go back to the login credentials and just copy it and paste it to the username. Same thing with the password right here. Copy and paste. And now you are logged into the DxTrade platform. If you have more accounts, as I do, you need to switch them right here. So this is the account number one, this is the account number two. In this account, as you can see, I have 100k starting balance. This is a brand new account without any trade taken yet. So basically, now you are set and ready to go. But let me show you how to open a new positions, how to manage your positions. And I'll show you some key things that you need to know in order to set up the platform as you like. One thing that I absolutely love about DxTrade is that you can customize the platform and you can make it look exactly as you want. This is an example. You're gonna click on the plus button right here. This thing basically works the same as the tabs inside your browser, but we will actually be adding charts or uh, journaling or position managing and so on. So the number one thing that we will do here is we want to see a new chart. You're gonna click on chart tab right here and now you have a new chart with cat and Swiss franc. But let's say that we want to change this to the Euro USD chart. All you gotta do is you'll go right here and you will search for Euro USD. As you can see here, we got Euro USD raw, which is the symbol that we use. But I don't really like the look of the chart. You can work with this. Click on the settings button here and you can change the background color to black, for example. I don't really like the grid and I don't really like the watermark. So I'm just gonna hide it inside the settings here. You can play with the settings, you can change the color of the candles, color of the background and all these things that are needed. There is just one important thing that you just need to remember. Every time when you make a change inside the settings, you need to click on OK. Only then it's gonna change. So we got our chart. That is the first thing that every trader needs. But the second thing is gonna be actually ability to open or manage positions. You're gonna click on position tab right here. And now down there, you see your positions. As we can see right now, we are not in any trade. So obviously nothing is here, but let's work on this because as a trader, you will be entering and closing positions and managing positions is pretty, pretty important. So how to actually open a new position inside the X-Trade? Easiest way how to do this is actually just do a right click on a chart, click on buy for example. Let's say that we want to buy 10 lots with a market order. So you need to click on the order type, which is gonna be market. The symbol is right here, Euro USD, 10 lots, that is our position volume, and we're gonna click on send order. But what every single trader should do, if you want to be consistently profitable, you should be using stop loss and take profit. So how to do it? Just click on protection orders, click on stop loss, take profit. And here there is a small suggestion that I personally do and that helps me a lot in order to manage my positions. The suggestion that I was talking about was actually connected with the trading view because most likely you are doing your technical analysis on TradingView software. And you probably know this position tool, which is basically highlighting you the zone of entry, stop loss and take profit, which is in favor of your plan. So in this case, we do care about the pips, which is the distance between our entry and stop loss. And we do care about the take profit pips, which is the distance between entry and take profit. In this case, we got 115 in terms of a take profit and we got 50 approximately in terms of stop loss. Now let's go back to the DX trade and instead of price here, we're gonna click on pips and pips right here. Take profit, take profit is 115 pips away. So let's just input it right here and the stop loss is 50 pips away. Now our setup is ready and we can click on send order. Right here, we enter the position with the 10 lots with a stop loss and take profit. But this is one minute time frame, which I don't really like. So let's just switch the time frame to the 15 minute by clicking at the time bar at the left top right here. All right, so this is our position, but one thing that is pretty cool with using DX Trade is that you can click on a position right there and you can actually move with your stop loss and take profit level right on a chart. So as you can see, I can switch the stop loss based on what I see on a chart. Same thing with the take profit, but remember, Every time you want to save this, you need to click on modify. 
Now the stop loss is modified. Same thing with the take profit. Just move it down there, which is gonna be above the high. Let's say that there is plenty of liquidity, which is the zone where I'm targeting. Click on modify, and now everything is ready to use. But this is not the only cool thing about EX trade. Let me show you one more trade. So we're gonna open a new buy position, which is gonna be market again, and we will use one lot. Let's do one lot again with the market. Send order. Now, as you can see, we have three positions opened, but this can get pretty messy if you have more positions on multiple pairs. So how to actually work with this? All you gotta do is click on net aggregation, and now you basically have a folder with your open positions on specific pair. So imagine that now I have three trades on EURUSD, another three trades on gold, and another three trades on NAS. I can put them into folder, which is much easier to use, and it's keeping my DX trade clean. You will be using this tool on a daily basis, so make it user-friendly as much as possible. One more cool thing that you should know about is gonna be the trading journal. And yes, of course, you got a perfect trading journal inside our four traders platform, but in case that you want to use Trading Journal inside a DX trade, let's have a look how to do it. All you gotta do is click on a trading dashboard or trading journal and you see your positions here, you see your trading dashboard right here, which is gonna be showing you your loss or profit, calculated average risk to reward, and all the other informations that you need to know about your trading style. Guys, there is one more cool thing that you can do with a DX trade, and that is so-called one-click trading. You need to enable it right here. Once it's enabled, you need to confirm it, and then you can be taking positions right away by just clicking sell or buy. These positions will be executed by market order. So just keep in mind that you will have a bigger spread. So let's say now I want to enter with the five lots. I'm going to click buy with the five lots, send order, and we are inside a position with a five lots trade. And exactly I was telling you, we got a folder with the Euro USD trades right here with a total volume of buys with 27 lots. This is our total PNL. This is our average fill price. And this is the current price where the Euro USD is now. Guys, this is all you need to know about your DX trade setup. But there is one more thing that is gonna help you in your trading journey. Listen to this. On the left side right here, you have your list of the pairs that you use, but you can actually customize it. Click on these three lines here, click on columns customization, and I have bid, ask, and spread. For example, what you can add is the percentage change in the last 24 hours, or you can add your asset class. Just click on apply, and as you can see now, you'll have more data displaying right here. I want to keep it as simple as possible, so let's go back to the columns customization, click on description, change, in percentage, change, click on remove from table, apply, and now it is as simple as possible, while still being pretty, pretty helpful. So this is the all information that you need to know about your new DX trade platform. In my opinion, it's much more intuitive while showing you all the information that you need to know about your trades, your charting, and all the other things that you need to trading. Hopefully this tutorial was helpful. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask our customer support.